Hey friends, welcome to Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. So happy that you're here. I just wanted to do a quick demonstration and show you one of my favorite ways to wrap Christmas presents. And so I love to use the craft paper and you can buy it on a roll. I've already wrapped up, there's a book in here, but I love to use this. You can also use the paper bags that you might get at the grocery store. Um, that's what this is made out of, that's the craft paper. And then I also love to use, this is actually packing paper. So it's an off-white color. I buy the pack at Walmart. I use it for all the things. Um, and so it comes in, there's lots and lots of sheets of that, okay? So that's one of my favorite things to use. But what I wanna show you is how you can just make this so pretty. So I've used some natural cuttings. I love to use things in nature. And we're just gonna pretend that this is like a little Christmas tree. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna kind of guesstimate, put it right here in the middle, and then I'm gonna add a cute little star. And I just cut this little star out, okay? Now, I think what I'm gonna do is first, I think I'm really going to center my star, and I'm just gonna hot glue this down. I love a little hot glue. Don't you guys love hot glue? Hot glue is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna center my star right up here at the top. And then I'm just gonna glue down my little tree. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right here. And you might be wondering how long this can last and it can last, you know, five to seven days. I just use this as just a special kind of wrap, not necessarily what I do it for like my little grands, but I love the look of it. Okay, and I'm gonna let that kind of bend a little bit because I like the look of that. All right, and you wanna use that hot glue because it's gonna make it, like it's gonna, it's gonna work for you because it's gonna, dry really fast okay okay the next thing I want to show you is how you can take this so you could do it just like this okay you can leave it as plain as that you could also if you wanted to I love hemp you could take this and even like wrap it around the bottom of this okay it could add a nice cute little touch to it if you wanted to do that but you don't have to. What's cool is you can just do whatever you like, <laughs> whatever you think looks good, okay? So you could just have that, like that. Now what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna slip this off and I'm gonna show you how to make it look like there's a little bit of snow. So I'm gonna bring this down and it's so simple what you do to make the snow effect, okay? All right, <clears throat> so I've got some paint here and I'm going to just put some on my little plate. Ooh, ooh, that came out quick. I think I'm going to find my little, I'm gonna take this apron that's kind of a hot mess and I'm gonna put this on because just in case I splatter. Okay, so then all you do is you take a toothbrush and you're just gonna dip the tip of it like this. And what I love is it doesn't have to be perfect at all. And then you just take and you spray it like this. And you just kinda, I'm gonna add a little bit more And that's it. And then you're just gonna let it dry. Look how cute this is. Isn't that so cute? I'll put it right here too. So cute. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna wash my hand off really quick. I love the way that turned out, so cute. And then I'm gonna show you how to make just a cute little wreath 
using boxwood, you can use anything, really. Um, so I have another book right here. I'm going to push my stuff up a little bit. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wreath right here in the middle. So I'm going to take a cup and I'm just going to eye it. I don't really measure things. I'm not that much of a perfectionist. Okay. And then you're going to trace around. Okay. Now, what you want to do is, so I went outside and I just clipped little clippings off of the bushes. Okay. Now, you don't really want to necessarily use these big pieces. You want to make it easier for you to be able to just um, glue it down. So what I did is I just took and just cut like inch to two inch pieces off. Okay. So I've got myself a nice little pile right here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am just going to just hot glue a little portion. Okay. I'm going to start here at the bottom and then I'm going to wind my way around. And that circle is a guide for me. And you don't really have to be picky. Again, using that hot glue. You want to use the hot glue because it dries really fast. You're just following the line. Look how cute. Okay. Oh my gosh. See how cute this is? Okay. How adorable is that? And then using this jute, which you can find at Walmart or any craft place, Hobby Lobby, wherever. Okay. You could tie it up here at the top. You know what I actually think I like? I think I want to turn this all the way around. And then I'm actually going to, I'm gonna do one at the top and one at the bottom. You could even do, you know, a second one. 
where you kind of make it look like this. Okay, so let me just cut this part off and turn it around for you guys. I'll hold it up. I'm gonna flip this around. And when you flip this around, you would want to put a little bit of hot glue back here to hold that. And look how beautiful that is. Isn't that so pretty? All right, so I just wanted to show you guys that. So simple, so easy. Beautiful, natural gift wrap. All right, thank you for joining me today. And as always, remember to be stronger every day and remember that you can also do hard things. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and be sure and press the bell. Push that thing because it will then give you a notification every time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 o'clock. Oh.